Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Just Dubs where I, Just Dubs, do my Just Dubs thing. We all know that in order to be a successful, brilliant YouTube show, we need a good Q&A session. So that's what we're going to do today. We've had uh, questions submitted via social media and I'm going to read them and I'm going to give you my honest, maybe kind of joking answers. And we're going to see where it goes. Uh, it's the first time I've ever been asked questions and so we'll see if I have the answers for them. So, without further ado, the first question is, what does a day in the life of W. James look like? And that's from Carrie Hemmelgarten. Well, Carrie, uh, a day in the life of W. James looks a little something like this. First off, I'm going to cut to the dramatic cam. First off, we wake up at like 7, 7.30 because who needs sleep? Sleep is for what they say is the week. Uh, I wake up, I get on the old, ye old shuttle. The, the magic shell that takes me off to a wonderful land called Florida Southern College, where I uh, take classes and learn things and get an education to progress my life or something. And then somewhere along the lines, I crack maybe three to five really dumb jokes, like extra stupid. Uh, and sometimes I'm feeling really dumb and like there's just no response. Uh, and then, you know, I'll get some food and sustenance and then I'll take another class for my education and I'll do any number of extracurriculars that I have no time for, and then I'll go to bed, just wherever I'm at at that moment, just bed, just immediately, just sleep, uh, for maybe three hours, four hours, five if I'm lucky, six if I'm really feeling crazy, seven if I can like find the time for a seventh hour, and then rinse and repeat, but sometimes with more dumb jokes. You see, when you start the week, you have only certain number of dumb jokes that you get to like let in. So like one or two during like Sunday, Monday. By Saturday, Friday, Saturday, we're upwards of like 10, 11, 12 dumb jokes because you know, you just gotta escalate it. You gotta, that cost benefit analysis is going up there in terms of the dumb jokes to actually genuinely funny jokes. Okay, so next question. I hope that answers your question, Gary. I hope you have a little insight into my life. Okay. Next question, would you, would you rather have a license plate that says W spelled out D-O-U-B-L-E-U -E or W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W? That's from Laura Riley. Laura, I think that's an excellent question. That, right so far, that may be my favorite question. Sorry, Carrie. Uh, w is an interesting because like that also happens to be the URL for one of my emails. So like I would almost be promoting my email everywhere I go. But on the other hand, it's just too clever. Like I can't not do it. But on the other other hand, we have www, which is honestly just brilliant. And I personally am annoyed that I didn't think of that at any other point in my life in the last 20, 20 years, two twenties. <laughs> so to answer your question, I'm leaning towards www, sheer, just for sheer obnoxious sake. Like when, I'm, when someone else is driving and they have to look at my license plate, they have to say W six times, seven times, S seven times. So I think that would just be hilarious. They're driving along and who, who, they're like, who is this guy with a vanity plate that's like www, www, At least W, they're like, ha ha, stupid pun. But with W, it's just like, the, it's kind of like the repetition where you say it so much, it doesn't mean anything anymore. But like that seven W, you're like, what letter am I saying again? So my answer to that question is www, www, Also, I'm saying www, www, as much and as possible as I can before the next question. So www, www, If you could have a superpower, wait, if you could have any superpower ever, what would it be? That would, oh, okay, so this is a two-part question. I haven't read these prior, so I have no idea what these questions are. So the first, the first part of the question is, if you could ever have any superpower, what would it be? And then the follow, that's from Jake Hine. And then this follow-up question is, which superpower would you never want to have? Also, really, guys are one-upping themselves. I'm so proud of everyone right now. Um, to answer your question first, Jake, uh, super speed. I'm a Flash nerd, I'm a DC Comics nerd. Um, all that flying stuff, people are like, I wanna fly or I wanna lift something heavy. I'm like, you can just do that by sheer like willpower. You can get on an airplane and you can work out. Like those are the two things you can do to achieve both of those things. Um, you, can't, you can't run real fast. You can't break the sound barrier with your feet. So I would like to break the sound barrier with my feet and be able to get places within a second's notice because 
you know, going back to that first question, W wakes up late sometimes, and W also ends up late to his classes sometimes, or maybe late to that meeting that he may have forgotten about. I can be there in a second and be like, I just, I'm one minute late as opposed to the 20 minutes it would take for me to get to point A to point B. So for just pure convenience, I'm going with super speed. Worst superpower ever, also excellent question, Marcos. I'm, I don't know what the worst superpower ever is because you also have superpower. By having a superpower, you're kind of pretty cool. Even if it's the stupidest, even if it's like, just like I walk slightly faster, like just a little brisker. I think like that's kind of dumb, but like it, pr it has its uses. You're getting places a little faster. Um, I'm trying to think of superheroes that I personally am not a big fan of their powers. Um, so like, you know, arm fall off boy. People, it's got, he's got his cult following, but like he only uses his arm. Like he's just got one arm, you know? Or like blowing up to like a huge, like just unreasonable size and like bouncing places. Like again, has its purpose, but for me personally, I don't really see the fit. So thank you both for your questions. The next question is, what's your biggest dream from Kat Servone? Thank you, Kat. Oh, my FB popped out. Give me a second. All right, it's back in. Um, so what, give me a second, Kat. I already forgot your question. My biggest dream, well, my biggest dream would be for this IFB to stay in my ear. That, and, okay, all right, and that is it. That's my biggest dream is this IFB can stay in for the rest of the episode. Also, to make the Kyle show bomb F after Will leaves. Take that, Will. Um, next question. Uh, not quite final question. Well, I have another question. Um, if you were a woodchuck, how much wood would you chuck? Josh, that's coming from Josh. Josh, good question. Um, the answer is six and a half. N <laughs> next question. Uh, this next question, this just in from a, uh, this will be the last question. Uh, it's from a, uh, a Just One Dubs. I don't know who he is. And his question is, is this the last episode of Just Dubs? Stay tuned. And that's everything I have here for, the for the, this episode of Just Dubs, where I, Just Dubs, do my Just Dubs thing. This IFB, God, just stay in, please. Thank you. My dream is crushed. It just got crushed. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for making Just Dubs like this really interesting, weird side project that I get to do. Um, it makes me happy doing it. I laugh a lot when I do it. And so I want to thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Um, again, I don't know if this is the last episode, so stay gen genuinely stay tuned. Um, but I hope it isn't, and so I, and I hope that I get to carry this for as long as I'm a part of the Kato. So thank you for that. My name is Just Dubs, and I've just done my Just Dubs thing. Just, yeah, just, you know, honestly, it's all downhill from here. It's really like, I mean, next I'm just going to be like, Just Dubs does street. That's it. <laughs>